I'm Andrew Wickham and I'm Managing Di Director of Go South Coast. Locally in Bournemouth and Poole, Go South Coast trades as more bus. More bus run the familiar blue buses such as the M1 and M2 in Bournemouth and Poole. And we also run the Unibus services for Bournemouth University. We operate out to Swanage, up to Blandford, New Forest and also up to Salisbury. Outside of the conurbation, um, we run in Dorset, up in Wiltshire and Swindon, across to Southampton and Hampshire. In Hampshire, all those are bus operators and we also run buses on the Isle of Wight. Also in Hampshire, we run a bus refurbishment factory called Hanson Dorset Trim. We employ about 1,900 people and run about 850 buses. What got me into buses was a childhood interest in buses, so I was a bit of a bus anorak as a child. Um, after A levels, I went off to university to study transport operation and planning. I got a job back at my local bus company during the holidays. It then sort of went from there. So I started off in Sussex. I then went to work in London. The company I worked for in London was taken over by the Go Ahead Group. Um, I then ended up working for them directly, then came down to Bournemouth when Go Ahead bought what was more bus in that part of the world back in 2003. I spent a little while in Plymouth as managing director of the bus company in Plymouth that Go Ahead bought and have been MD back at Go South Coast since 2011. Well I think probably most of it comes down to customers actually. What I really enjoy is travelling out on the buses and talking to our colleagues, my colleagues, drivers and others and also seeing customers and see, get on the bus and seeing a bus full of happy customers, be it people going off going shopping or a late night bus with people going home from the pub or off clubbing or something, it's really nice to see and, and that sort of does you know, remind me why I come to work every day. The whole thing of, of, the, of meeting people, of dealing with our employees I really like. I get around at each of the depots at least four times a year to take questions from, from people who work in depots, both engineers and drivers. I give them updates on the business and, and take questions and some of those questions can be quite challenging but that's fine, that's, that's interesting, it shows they're interested in the business. What I hate to see and sadly we do get this occasionally, not very often anymore, is when people write in a complain where we've let them down, sometimes some of our people have been rude to them, sometimes we let them down because buses are broken down and they're unhappy with us uh, and yeah, we cause some people some real distress and yeah, that's pretty much the low point in the job. What I would say is, depending on how old you are, but, but work hard while you're studying and then make an effort, get in touch with your local bus company and ask to get some experience, some work experience with them or a job with them, just write in and say, these are my skills, is there anything you've got where you can give me a job? And I think that's a really good way to break in. Clearly watching the trade press and other media for job adverts is the other way to do it. Um, lots of bus companies are recruiting drivers, lots of bus companies recruit apprentice engineers, and those are two routes of entry that many people use, but there are other ways in as well. But the really important thing is take some responsibility for yourself and you know, go and ask to see the boss. Go and say, can I make a point with the MD? I would like to come and work for your business. I'd like to find out about the company. What we want is people who can show initiative and have got some passion doing those things. You start to demonstrate you have those, 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 those two attributes. <laughs>